Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how you can make a standing skirt, my standing skirt on, now this is the fun loom, okay? So it's going to be a little bit different because as you can tell, there's a huge difference between the two looms. Firstly, this one does not come apart, whereas this one does, but also you don't have these gaps between, so you can't pop out a column and the base plate and have your skirt growing here down under the loom. Now, one of my friends, a, na a lady by the name of Ellen Carpenter, had the ingenious idea of using the grow it up technique. Now you can find her, her name is Ellen Carpenter, but she goes by Feeling Spiffy, Feeling Spiffy on uh, on YouTube. And she does all the happy fruit and veggies and food. Fabulous, if you haven't checked out her channel, you really should. I'm sure most of you have though. Um, but uh, fantastic technique. So we're going to do that technique today to make this skirt on the fun loom. And I believe that basically, with this grow it up technique, it doesn't matter what loom you're using, you can still make these sort of 3D concoctions. So what we're going to do, normally if we were using a standard loom, we would use four pegs this side and four pegs this side, so eight pegs, and it would be like that. Well, we don't have that really here. I mean, we could use these, but you'd have to stretch it quite quite a, a distance but I mean it, it would work you could still stretch it across like this if you wanted to or the other way of doing it is to go in a circle and you would be going one two three four five six or a bigger circle one two three four five six seven eight nine now if we do nine it's quite possible that we might be able to alleviate having to use a spoon to put our skirt on so let's do it that way Take a single band, you're going to put it on the peg and twist it into a figure eight. So it looks like an infinity loop, okay? And we're going to do that only for the first row. Now, I have to admit, I have never used a fun loom before or a crazy loom or any of these other looms. Um, other than this one that I just bought the other day and I do find them very very difficult to work with um, I find it quite hard to get my hook under uh, so you'll have to bear with me as I look like I'm a stumbling newbie because I am <laughs> all right so that's our first row next put another layer and I should mention somebody asked me whether we could do a standing skirt for Tinkerbell and that's what I'm going to show you to do. We're going to make a standing skirt for Tinkerbell. So this is row two. Try and make sure that your bands don't overlap each other. And it's only the first row, as I mentioned, that has the... Uh, the twist in it. Now we're going to do row number three. Now I like to do three rows, you don't have to, you can do two, um, but I find it gives a tighter, more firm result and when you're looking at having a doll standing I feel that that is a little bit better, but um, I guess you can do two as well. So I have my three layers, you can see one two three what I'm going to do and I'm using as you can see it's not really a crochet hook it's sort of like a pick thing isn't it what you're going to do is dig down and find the bottom two bands and lift them up and over and then push down again the bottom two bands and you lift them up and over all right up and over and you only want the bottom two so you should be left and if you think you've gone wrong go back a step sometimes it's tricky to see 
there's one, you can do them one at a time. And there's two. There's one. And there's two. Now, here's two bands here. And two bands here. Now this one is usually quite tricky because you're sort of trying to dig in here and get the bands and it can be a little tricky. But there's those two over as well. Now I like to jot down how many rows I've done. So I have a little post-it note that I keep by my desk and a pencil and I know that I have done three. Alright, so I just keep a track on how many I've done. Let's lay our next row and this is four see I did go out and buy the loom for you guys <laughs> grab the bottom two and pull them over and pull over I have to say you guys have the patience of a saint to use these ones I find them very tricky but I guess if you can't get a rainbow loom one then this is you know you get what you can don't you really let's push that over with my hook I use a smaller hook for this and I the smallest hook I have is is okay <laughs> says me <laughs> yeah, that's two bands get one I just want one there we go and then under this this one here and this one is tricky I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing you sort of have to go in at the side Okay, there's two. So you're left with four bands on each. Let's do row five. And again, tick it off on your little chart. And the bottom two, there's one, <laughs> two, see, I'm not going fast now, am I? <laughs> two, oops, two. Two. This would be the slowest video you've ever seen me make. One, two, you're probably all howling with laughter right now, two, and let's dig down here and find these two. Number six. Now, remember, you can change up the colours. I'm just doing it green because it's Tinkerbell, but you can make it whatever colour you like. You can add different colours. That's fine too. Two. 
I'm going to tick off that I'm on number six. Let's do the hardest bit first. Oh, one popped off. Put that back. They're not very, um, these little pegs, they're not very uh, deep, are they? Okay, there's the hardest one. So we've done those bottom two. Bottom two. <laughs> Bottom two. I have to say, this is not my favourite loom, my darlings. <laughs> Bottom two. Now, also, I should mention, you don't just have to use the grow up technique on these looms. You can do it on the rainbow loom too. It's it's brilliant. Absolutely a stroke of genius, that girl. Thought outside the box. Fabulous. All right. So when we're about here, you can see that we've got all this sort of bunching down. Well, all you need to do is grab some of it, if your hook doesn't get stuck, and pull it up. I'm probably not at the right time to put it up just yet maybe need a few more rows but this is going to come up it's going to grow up it's like a plant isn't it let's place our seventh row and we'll see I, I can see this has opened up a whole new little area for looming it's it's brilliant down and oh now did you see I lost that band so now what I have to do is put those back okay because that band needs to be there so let's push things down a bit make sure that band stays there now let's do one and two and that kind of locks it in place one two one and two one and two I think I'll have to start doing this by different looms and see whether I can work with them or not I have the, uh, I think it's called the twist and loop, and I, I like that one, that's quite good. But this, uh, this is different. Okay, so that was number six, let's do number seven. Make sure you push things down. Write it off on my little list. And I'm taking one loop at a time because, well, that's all I can really get. Oh, there we go. There's two. And two. Oops. Let's put that one back push things down. That's three bands there, so I'm going to do this one at, one at a time. I think it doesn't help that I'm actually using jelly, jellyish bands, so it makes it a bit slippery. Let's try that again. There's one. And let's find that second one. There we go. Push down. One and two. 
too. And then the hardest one back here. Let's see if we're ready to. It's moving up a little bit. See? Look at that. So instead of being able to move under the loom, it's going to be moving up the loom. Okay, we're on number eight. We have to do 16, so we're halfway there. These have twisted. There we go, that's better. Let's dig down. <laughs> I love how they call this the fun loom. It's not very fun when you can't get the bands. So I'm pushing things down. I've still got that top one to do. There we go. See how it's getting there. things down. We're on number nine. Take off. And let's find two bottom loops. Top one. Push everything down. And it's going to start growing up soon. I'm just sort of grabbing the inside of it I'm giving myself a bit of room okay let's do number 10 Bottom two. Okay, 
Gosh, I think I'm going to need fun loom lessons. <laughs> I have to give my my opinion. This can be my review of the fun loom. one here over this side push everything down you want them pushed down on the columns on the pegs see how it's starting to grow up don't worry about the fact that you've got these bands that look a bit loose. When we take this off, we'll actually start um, shaping it out. So as you can see, it's happening here. So that was number, was that number 10? I think it was number 10. Let's do number 11. And if you do forget and you do one you know, less row or one more row, it really isn't going to matter too much. You just have to stuff their legs up more if it's too low. This is number 11. Oh my goodness gracious. The bottom two. Maybe Crazy Loom is better. I'll have to go and buy one of those. everything down except for the middle bit which you can pull up <laughs> okay we're at number 12 remember we're just single banding we're not doing double banding This other one down here, and then we have our lucky last one and two. Take that off, put 
push everything down. Let's push that down and make sure I get two. There's one and two and one and two. Two. You hear the cicadas in the background. I'm inside. And two. Push everything down and pop this middle one up a bit more. There we go. We're on number 14. I have to say, I really do dislike cicadas. I find them very no uh, noisy, naughty, noisy. And, um, oh my gosh, they dive bomb your head. Oops, lost a band. Let's go back, grab that. We were out the other evening and uh, this thing was dive bombing me. And yes, I ran screaming, waving my hands in the air so the neighbours could all laugh at me. <laughs> down and find those bottom two there's one there's number two there it is that was 14 let's do 15 and then we'll have one more That next one.
to all of you that use a fun loom my hat off to you it is the most difficult loom I think I've ever ever used this is number 16 our last one Admittedly, it's not snapping my bands like the fake rainbow loom ones do, but because uh, they are very sharp, the fake rainbow loom ones are really, really sharp. Um, our local Walgreens was uh, selling them, and uh, we just took them back. They were just horrible. That was when I was a newbie. I didn't know any better, so I sent those back quick, smart. But this is tricky. So if you use one of these, I think you're marvellous. But please go and get a rainbow loom one. <laughs> okay. So this was column 16, so it's the end for us as far as this is concerned now we need to we've done we've taken off the bottom two now take off the next bottom two so that all you're left with on your loom are two bands on each peg okay two bands left on each peg See how this is like that. Now, what we need to do is collect all of these up onto our hook. So I'm going to take a hook, I'm going to pop it down through here, and I'm going to go around and collect those two bands on each peg. But I'm going to make sure I put my fingers on the ones at the end because I don't want to lose those. Let's get rid of that loom, my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, so you can see it looks a little bit different. What we're going to do is take four bands. I'm using four because I don't want, um, I want two for each side because I want them to be uh, secure and I don't want to feel that if something breaks, the other one is an insurance policy. So I've got two on my hook. I'm going to put two on the hook part of my hook and slide those two into the middle like that. Reclaim the end of your bands like this and take up and over and make a slip knot. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's a bit scatty or tatty, that's fine. Then we're going to put the first two loops of that on the end of the hook that you have all the loops for your skirt on. And we're going to slide this now keep it taut okay you want to keep and by taut I mean tight keep this tight you don't want this these two loops that you just made to go slack if they do it will likely fall off the end of your hook and uh, you will be upset with me so slide them all on and pull through it's rather difficult there we go now while it's like that I'm actually going to turn this inside out because that is how our skirts have looked and when you stretch them out into shape like so that's how our little stand-up skirts have looked 
we also need to tie these two ends off okay so there's one side there let's find the other side here it is okay so I'm gonna put my hook back through here the reason I've given myself extra is so that I can budge this across you have to obviously budge it across the um, the knot that you tied but that's okay so then grab both ends of your band we're going to tie a knot but first let's do a slip knot one over the other like that and hold this tight take this off this is the one that we didn't loop this is the one that we slid over and off put your hook through one side of the other of the loop here so you put your hook through one loop bring it under let me do it with a better hook so you go through here can you see what I'm doing through here through one side bring it down and up push this through over and there's the other two here and those two are the ones you're going to pull tight into a knot okay they're the ones that form that knot and that is your little skirt your stand-up skirt now I don't have Tinkerbell here but all you would do I don't even have a spoon here poke a spoon up the middle and the spoon goes up the middle of her skirt here and pokes out the top and uh, you can look at any of the other tutorials that I have you poke her legs inside the spoon and as you pull the spoon through she comes through as well so there you are that's how you do a standing up skirt on any of the other looms that don't come apart and don't have the spaces available it's the growing up technique and that was coined by um, Ellen Carpenter from Feeling Spiffy absolutely fabulous new way of doing some looming check out her channel bye bye